In this module, I'm gonna cover the donut and the pie chart. Pie chart is basically in the form of following shape. We have a circular area cover all the values. In this module, I'm gonna create the pie chart by using the same record that is percentage of Windows, iOS, Android and other OS users. So without wasting any time, let's switch back to the View Studio and again inside the main page, I'm not gonna add anything new. So let's switch back to the mainpage.xaml.cs file and there we have a list of entries that represents the data that we want to display on our device screen or inside our graph. And inside the constructor we have the same scenario that is to access the chart but this time we have a donut chart instead of point chart. So let's remove this and add a donut chart here and you can see that now we can tackle the following properties of donut chart accordingly. So the first thing I'm gonna add is minimum value to 0 and maximum value to 100 so that my donut chart will start from 0 and goes up to 100. And then I'll simply set the label text size. Well if you want to change the label text size you can also set the float value here. The next thing is to set the margins of this chart control so I'm gonna add the margins of 10 units from all the sides and then simply assign this underscore entries to the property entry which accepts i enumerable and list and finally we can set the background color of this chart accordingly let's run this application on our device and you can see that the donut chart control is displaying beautifully on our device screen but wait for a moment this is actually a pie chart it's not a donut chart but we can create the donut chart from this control as well so in order to make this in a donut shape let's switch back to the wheel studio and let's add a hollow radius to 0.5 float value and then run this application again on the device and this time you will see that the donut shape appears on the screen. To sum up the discussion, we can say that we will create both donut and pie shaped charts or graphs by using the same chart control that is donut chart. In the next module, I'm gonna cover the radial gauge chart. So see you guys in the next module.